Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all having a good week so far. Here we're uh, doing part two of my review of this uh, mini Sopuru 13-in-1 triple display dock. And uh, this is actually an exciting one. A couple days ago I posted the unboxing video of this thing. Um, go ahead and check that out if you want to see what all comes in the box. And we kind of go over the uh, all the ports on this thing. But uh, today is a cool one because I hooked this up to my... Um, M1 MacBook Air. It's uh, just the cheapest MacBook Air you can get, or that you could get a year or so ago here. And uh, the what's cool about this is this uh, MacBook Air laptop is rated for just one external display. But um, using this guy, which claimed on its Amazon page to support three external displays on an M1 Mac, I was uh, super excited to check this out, and um, I was a little skeptical, but maybe I shouldn't have been because, yeah, I got three external displays on the M1 MacBook Air, and it actually works great. Let me uh, turn the camera around and show you guys some things here. All right, as you can see, uh, my desk really wasn't set up to have this many monitors going because I didn't expect this laptop to be able to do it. So, yeah, this is the M1 MacBook Air, and there is the device with everything hooked up. I got all the uh, cables plugged into the back, and um, I'm also running it on the Ethernet port that comes with this thing. Everything's fine. So if I look at my main display here, I go to uh, my Apple logo and system settings, and let's check out the displays if i can find it and as you can see it detects all the external displays i go to my range and you can see how i have them all set up here and um yeah it's pretty awesome as i said i got it hooked up on the ethernet that works uh, in order to get it to work you do have to download their software that it comes with and it puts this little icon up here on your system tray uh, just sort of little basic uh, software, gives you some options. I set it to launch automatically at login. That was not enabled by default. I haven't tested uh, these other op options yet. I don't have an Apple Watch for the unlock screen, but um, yeah, that's no big deal. Uh, actually, the inst installation of the software just took about a minute. It was super easy to do. Everything worked out of the box. I checked all the USB ports. They seem to work. Ethernet port works. Um, I do have a lot of free ports open here right now, but I did plug a uh, USB-C hard drive into this thing, and it runs fine. Speed seemed just as good as when I had it plugged into the Mac, so no problems there that I noticed. I mean, I didn't uh, get out a watch and do any timings or anything, but it seemed good for my usage. Now, the only real gripe I had with the installation process is that the link to download the software is... Um, on this, but instead of the URL, they give you just a QR code. So, you know, that's cool to scan it onto your phone and get the link, but um, I wanted to download this onto my computer, not on my phone. I mean, luckily it's not hard to copy a link and paste it from your phone to your computer, but it, it would have been nice just to uh, write down the address that you had to go to. So I could have skipped the whole step of getting my phone out. But other than that, yeah, this thing's awesome. As you can see, I am going to have to rearrange my desk now to uh you know to uh accept the new reality that i can now have more than one external monitor on this little m1 macbook air here but uh, yeah i'm pretty happy uh for anybody who has an m1 macbook and i think the m2 macbook air has the same issue uh or also the mac minis where you can only have one or two external displays well this thing lets you up your external display game quite a bit and uh i'm super happy with it over the next few days, I am going to test this on Windows. I got a Windows laptop over here behind me. I'm going to test it on Chrome OS Flex just to see what happens there. I'm going to test on Linux. Why not? And I think I was going to test it on my Android phone, but I've kind of read the Pixel, which is what I have, doesn't support external displays anyway. We'll test it out anyway to see what it does. I have an iPad over there, which will test it out and see if it does anything. And if there's anything else you want me to test, uh, let me know. But uh, initial impressions are I'm super excited about this. Uh, here's a box again. This 13-in-1 display dock. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It is uh, about $200, so it's not cheap. But I have had cheap ones, and they didn't let me hook three monitors up to my MacBook Air. So I'm happy with it. Uh, 
if you're if you got a MacBook and you're interested in this kind of thing, at least uh, look at the link and read the reviews and read up on it and check it out. Uh, I give it my endorsement, and um, yeah, that's really nothing more to say about it. All the ports work, the displays work. It was easy to set up. It really took about just a minute to get the whole thing set up. The hardest part was finding uh, space on my desk for all these screens. <laughs> so. But um, yeah, this is really going to help my workout, and uh, I think it could help you too. And that's really all I have to say about this thing. Stay tuned for more. Let me know what else you want to uh, see. Like the video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe. And I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.